know that I have a license as a sex therapist, so I am permitted by law and by my profession to talk about sex and relationships all day long. But I tell you something, my next guest, Jackie Mason, talks about sex all the time, and I went to see his show, and because he talks so much about it, I asked him to come right here. Please help me welcome the comedian Jackie Mason. How are you, how are you? <laughs> Good to see you. Jackie. Thank you, thank you. You see that? This see audience. that? When you work for nothing, you're a big hit right away. <laughs> At these prices, they were in love with me because nobody had a But I went to see you and I paid for my ticket and I loved you. Oh. You see that? You paid for the ticket? You're not known as such a spender. Well, I did pay, but I want to know, Jackie, how yeah. come you talk about sex not only from morning to night, but the whole night to the next morning? What are you talking about sex? But if you notice in my show, I never talk about sex. I'll leave that to you. In my own show on Broadway, I never talk about sex at all. Because if I talked about sex right away, they would say, you're a filthy person. If a comedian talks about sex, it's disgusting, it's vulgar. Everybody would say, why could he keep it clean? Why was it necessary? But you, when you talk about sex, I go, who, who? it's a doctor. <laughs> if, if they called me Dr. Mason, I could stand there and talk about every part of the human anatomy for an hour, exactly how to do it, and on which side, and what time, and upside down. <laughs> On what side down and inside out, and uh, maybe you should try it this way, the other way, positions, explanations, and everybody will say, oh, it's a hit. <laughs> it's a hit if you're a doctor, if you're a comedian, yuck, disgusting. Dr. Jackie Mason. The truth Mason. of the matter is, the truth of the matter is, I should be called a doctor, because then I'd be able to do your show. No, because... my show I'm not giving away, but I I'll call you a doctor. <laughs> I will call you a doctor. I want to ask you a question. You don't feel a little dirty talking about these things? Anymore? You know why? Because I am married. Show me your wedding band. What is marriage? How? What has marriage got to do with it? If you walk into somebody's house and you talk about the kinds of things you talk about, as a polite table conversation, they would throw you out of the house in a second. <laughs> they would throw you out of the house. They'd say, this is how the person talks, polite conversation. Imagine walking into your aunt's house and say, listen, let me tell you about the scrotum with the scrotum. <laughs> and the way to hold it is like this, and you hold it like that. And your aunt would say, where were you raised? You have the nerve to talk to... You're the only person in America who could talk like this and be respected for it. <laughs> Everybody else, any place else, if you talk this way, any place, when it's considered polite conversation among people, you hardly know. You don't know everybody you're talking to on television. It's true. So who the hell are you to talk to them like this? Because I want to help them. Maybe they maybe they How do you know they're not offended by this? I'm very offended when I hear you explaining on every show exactly how to have better sex and which way and how many times I am very hurt by it. I am very offended. First of all, I can't get in on it. But you watch it anyhow. But you watch yeah. it anyhow. Why do you watch it? I'm watching it because I want to see if I can get in on it. I figure sooner or later you're going to say something that I heard about. I don't know. Or maybe you'll teach me something I never tried before. Mm -hmm. I watch you to take lessons. That's why I really watch you. I That's think, what I all think, of America does. I and think right you, now England... you found a popular forum, a, a, a respectable outlet for all the things everybody would like to think and say and do that they don't have the, the time or the nerve to say and do. You can't talk like this to other people. Right. You, you can't get yourself in that position without watching your show. Right. But you... I know that you flirt. I watched you before. Any young woman that passes, I saw those blue eyes wait, wait, wait. twinkling. I had a choice. I, saw... I had a choice between three girls and a chair and a table. What did you expect me to do? <laughs> you thought you thought I was going to the table? I watched you. No, no, no. I watched you with all of those guys. Well, if I, what if I were to turn to a man? You wouldn't just say I was uh, something strange? If I turned to anything else, a tree, wouldn't you say there's something wrong with me? <laughs> and if you turn to a girl, they say, Yuck, it's not nice. Why, uh, I, that's the only nice thing now, I can since do. you do talk about sex and I do talk about sex, the two doctors here, where did you learn about sex? From your parents or in no, the streets? From your show. From my show. <laughs> Before I never I heard about on... sex before your show. I knew people do it, but I didn't know how and exactly where. <laughs> I think that you're the greatest force of education about sex than that has ever been created in this country. If, if not for the fear of AIDS, I think everybody would be doing exactly what you're telling them all the time. You came, al you came along too late. Just when you made it a hit, everybody's afraid to do it. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm going to ask you a serious question. Yeah. You do a lot of dating. 
Yes. So you must know a lot about dating. Yes. Let's learn from Dr. Jackie yeah. right now. What have you learned about dating? That it's a lot of fun. A lot? <laughs> and that you should try as hard as possible to see what you could get out of the relationship. Which means what? Sex? Right. The first night? You well, take her out for dinner, you pay for her dinner, and then you say... I would never do it on no. the first night unless they let me. <laughs> uh, but, but I don't think there's any such thing as premature sex. There's such thing as premature ejacul ejaculation. I don't know if you heard about it. Yeah. You notice I couldn't even pronounce it. <laughs> you did pretty well.